Once the album design is finished, you can now upload the order to Miller's. Go to the toolbar and click the shopping cart icon. The software will alert us of any empty pages in our project. Since this is a demonstration order, we will click OK. Otherwise, we would need to review the items listed and correct the errors noted before proceeding. In the previous movie, we changed the album from a 12 of 12 to a 10 of 10. Click the Save button to save this change. We will be presented with this window, read through the details of the ordering process, and place a check mark here to signify we have read this information. Click the Start button. A browser window will be displayed. Use the same username and password when logging in to the normal Miller's website. Once we have input our credentials, click the Login button. We will be presented with a summary of our order and modifications we can make to the order before uploading to Miller's. We are ordering a 10 by 10 leather covered album. We have the option to archive the album to an optical disc. The thickness of the pages can be changed from the current thin page selection. Click the Change button, where we can choose a thick page option instead. Click the green Change button in the lower right corner. The cover of our album can be changed from the default black leather to a different cover. Click the Change button and choose a different cover for the album. For this example, we will select the brown velvet cover for our design. Click the green Change button in the lower right corner. Select the type of paper the album is to be printed on. The default is the e-service paper. Click the Change button and choose a different paper for the interior of the album. Select from the Fuji Pearl or the Classic Felt papers. Click the green Change button in the lower right corner. The edges of our album pages can have gilding applied for a finished look to our project. Click the Change button. Choose from a black, gold, or silver edge gilding. Click the green Change button in the lower right corner. We can specify how the order is to be printed with regard to our color corrections or no color correction. By default, Millers will color correct each image file in the album. If we prefer no adjustment be made by Millers, select No Color Correction and the files be printed without any adjustment. Review the changes we have made to the order and click the Continue button to advance to the next window. From this window, we can select our shipping method. By default, the order will be shipped to the studio address Millers has on file. Or, for an additional $6, we can specify the completed order be drop shipped directly to our client. Click the Continue button to display a summary page of our order. The cost of the album, the shipping address, and the billing address are displayed for our confirmation. If everything is correct, click the Confirm Order button to begin the process of uploading the order to Millers. Once the order arrives at the lab, work on the project will begin. In a couple of days, the finished product will be delivered and ready for your client. In closing, during this video series, we have demonstrated the Designer Plus album ordering software. We think you will find this program to be very powerful, but a very simple program we can use to create custom albums for our clients. Thanks for viewing.